Now, Arnie, I reversed the camera footage here. Um, get a better angle on things. Might be a, a bottom box frame. A lot of open cells. Even there's a bunch of larvae that's not capped yet. We'll see. If you happen to go through your boxes, we have, and if I see it, well, I'll explain it to you. But if you happen to go through your boxes here and you find the swarm cells, um, those are definite candidates to put in your top box. So don't cut them off. This is one of the positive attributes of um, doing the snug rub method is to probably make another queen. So. Queen cups on here. Yeah, a lot of open brood. I'm still good with this. This will probably be a bottom box. Looking for the queen still. Open cells, a little brood, pollen. Oh, this is cat brood. This is a definitely a top box. All the cat brood there, grown cells. Um, the one thing in doing the snugger method is when I find that queen, she, I need to find, I need, basically you want to find her before you close everything up there. So if you catch her early, that's great. Just put her in the queen cage and just keep her in shade. It's when we're ready to sim, uh, final, final assembly of this the hive set up here. She's going to be, you don't want to put her in the bottom box. So the other thing about catching her early is you get to see, um, be a little bit more aggressive with the hive. I mean, you always want to be cautious, but you don't have to worry about pushing, crushing your queen or anything. Man, this is a honey frame. Right, 
she get in on here? So the question is, she's probably, and hopefully she's in the bottom box. Go ahead and take this other frame out of here. And sometimes check these outside frames as well, and they may not be drawn out yet, but they'd be a good candidate for the bottom box gives give some room and space. That's one of the big things we need in our space. No clean. Alright, I'm just gonna set this over. I'm trying to do this without smoke, so hopefully they're a little agitated, but we'll keep going. There is a lot on the spec side that's not even filled out yet. So it'll be a good bottom box candidate. Heavy brood, heavy brood. That's another queen cup. Yeah. All the brood on that frame. Yeah. So we're at six frames up top. I can put four more up there. It should have a honey frame. Oh, this next frame is loaded with brood also. Uh, drones. Queen is marked white, so if you see her head, beat me to it. No more drone cells. Box frame. If any of you were wondering what kind of gloves I'm using, these are uh, seven mil nitrile gloves. Got it from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're not sting, 100% sting resistant, but they actually, uh, I don't get a very, I get very minimal, and they're a little bit bored, pretty durable also. And they will tear, you just have to be careful with them. But, a little bit more dexterity than the leather gloves. Propolis in his hive too. Drone cells. Might be a top.
the light. So you probably bought them too. Let's just start looking for the queen. be a top box. Definitely a top box. That's a bird. bottom. There she is. Right there. So we'll go ahead and take the queen clip and catch her. She's she's good. Got her. Alright. Set her aside, got some bees in there. Now, time to put this thing back together. All right, let me count the top box, see where we are with that, which will be the top box. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got room for two more frames. Plus, this is the time we'll go and start planning some reassembly here. Keep we'll keep our uh, just like standard hive. We'll put our honey to the outside, pollen, and then uh, brood and some uh, uncapped cells in the middle. Um, if there's not much uh, space up here, um, and there's plenty of pollen frames or uh, honey frames, pull them out. You leave a frame in the bottom here. We're in a nectar flow. Shake the bees off and store the frames. Um, throw them in the freezer for a day or two, uh, and you can utilize them later or to amp up another hive. If you have another a week of colony here or trying to build up another colony in your hive, you can actually add those frames to another colony. You can do just take all the bees and stuff on them and they'll accept them. Check your outside frames. Like it says, there might be a lot of room in here for laying. Three of us, what's here? Yep, a lot of space. This frame here actually looks like it was a old, uh, this is probably an old swarm trap frame. The reason why I guess is I usually wire all my frames, but my swarm traps. See a little, I got some starter wax up here, but no, there's no wires, there's no eyelets, and it's I mean, it's, it's barely attached in a few places here. But this is probably a swarm. This is probably a, a cult swarm from last year. Uh, you can tell the frame. You always still got to be careful with this stuff here because it's not wired in. It's a little bit soft. But we can put this in the middle. Maybe they'll draw it out a little further. All right. 
two frames. Plenty of room for her. So put it there. Let's go ahead and start taking some of these frames that were uh, set on the outside. A lot of fruit on that one. Some in there. Some eggs. And drone. We'll go ahead and take this one. Definitely pollen. We'll put the pollen side out towards the bees. The bottom. This honey frame. Go out here. So honey, pollen. We're going to slide these over. These look aggressive. Like I says, I'm not smoking them. I ain't smoked them yet. They'll be fine. They'll be, if you're tearing any hive, they're going to be flying around. Next hive. A lot of honey in that one. We're going to hold off on this one. Falling. 